Hello everyone, this is Dr. Suruchi Puri from Delhi, once again bringing you greetings from our channel. This is a space where we talk anything and everything about skin and hair health. So my today's talk is about smoking and hair loss. Can smoking actually cause increased hair loss? So the answer is yes. Smoking causes increased hair loss in a variety of ways. It increases the production of free radicals in the body. Free radicals are those molecules which can cause damage to your DNA. Smoking and pollution both are factors which can increase hair loss. Cells in the hair follicles of balding scalps are particularly sensitive to oxidative stress. So, smoking by mechanism of free radicals can be one big reason for hair loss. Second, the chemicals in the smoke such as carbon monoxide can cause blocking or choking of your blood vessels which is harmful not only to your lungs and heart but also to your hair. Besides these mechanisms, smoking acts by increasing the inflammatory cytokines like in male pattern baldness or androgenetic alopecia, this could be a reason for rapid progression as well as higher gradeness, grading of baldness at a very early age. 2020 study compared the degree of baldness in smokers versus non-smokers and it was found that 425 out of 500 smokers had some degree of hair loss while only 200 out of 500 non-smokers had signs of hair loss. So not just there was an increased number of bald patients in the smokers group, but also the extent of baldness was grade 3 and 4 in 24% of the smokers group, while only 10% in the non-smokers group reached to level 3 or 4. Besides causing hair loss, smoking can predispose you to 1 early onset of graying, second, poor hair transplant results, third, hair becoming more brittle due to decreased blood flow to the hair follicles, fourth, dryness and roughness of the hair texture due to early aging of the hair follicles which reduce, which leads to reduce sebum production or hair oil production. Does it affect hair negatively only in males? The answer is no. In females, particularly those who already have thin hair or more predisposed to baldness, smoking can cause a state of low estrogen levels by inhibiting certain enzymes. So you have to plan to quit smoking and quit as early as possible. Even though quitting smoking may sound difficult, but you have to do it to achieve thick, good, bouncy hair on your scalp and I am sure it is a strong enough motivation to do that. Some therapies that can help are nicotine replacement therapy using nicotine patches, the gums or inhalers which can help you in reducing the addiction and certain prescription drugs and alternative therapies such as hypnosis also may be helpful. Thank you for watching the video.